welcome to Coffee Combo Wednesday. Yay! <laughs> this is Coffee Combo Wednesday for Wednesday, April 7, 2021, episode 255. My name is Cindy Simmons. I am your host each and every week, really. This is a show where we're going to be here for about 15, 20 minutes. We're going to talk about three things. And then at the end, I'm going to give you something super cute and stylish today. So I'm super excited about that. If you would, before we do anything, all right, stop what you're doing because I'm about to ruin, sorry, Humpty Dance. Oh, terrible song came into my head. Stop what you're doing. And I would love for you to click like if you're watching this on Facebook. If you are watching this on Instagram, click that little, looks like a ribbon button um, there um, and save this video. If you're watching on YouTube, click subscribe and like. And whatever you do, please, please, please comment below and engage and be a part of this show. That's why I love coming here every week. I love to hear what you're thinking, what your opinion is on whatever we're talking about. And then share, share, share. If you could share this on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you're watching, that would be amazing. Thank you so much. All right, before we get started, a little bit about me, if this is your first time, welcome. If it's not your first time, we go way back and you already know all of this. But like I said, my name is Cindy. I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. I grew up about 30 minutes away from Disneyland and now our family lives in Orlando, Florida, less than 30 minutes from Walt Disney World. We are a family of five, it's me. My husband, Eric, he has an awesome promotional products company called MySmartShirt.com. He basically puts logos on stuff. And then we have a 15-year-old daughter and an eight-year-old daughter. And then my four-time cancer-surviving rock star of a Mama Jane lives with us as well. Radio is my background. I was, um, gosh, I've been in radio since college. I worked um, at the radio station where Ryan Seacrest is now, KISS FM in Los Angeles. Then I was on the radio um, in Nashville, Atlanta, here in Orlando, and we've been doing this show, Coffee Convo Wednesday, for over five years now, which is really like, like it, it's crazy. I am also the brand manager for a super cute women's boutique called Shushu Baby Boutique, so everything you see me wear, really, for the last like year and a half is from Shushu Baby Boutique, and anything you see me wear or you see a share online on Instagram or Facebook you can buy and they ship anywhere in the continental United States for free, which is my favorite part because that's awesome. I don't know why free shipping always like sends me over the edge of happiness. <laughs> so whatever you're doing, stop right now. I'm going to give you a big, this mug is so heavy that I don't know, <laughs> I don't know that I'm lifted up the whole entire time because it's like as big as my head. Give me a cheers, tell me what you are drinking because I know some of you, you might be watching in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. I'm having a little afternoon coffee. I give you a big fat cheers. I have whipped cream and coffee. That's my concoction that I have every morning, actually really whenever I have coffee. In quite possibly the biggest mug ever. Um, I am using a Mickey mug today and you will see why at the very end of the show. Okay, I hope you had a good Easter, a good Passover. He is risen, he is risen indeed. It was a nice Easter weekend, but full disclosure, I was super, like a super crab apple this weekend. I was crabby, I had to apologize to not only my husband, but my children, because I was very crabby. I fell off my bike a little over a week ago now, and um, this has cleared up, which is nice, but my knee has not. I will spare you from having to look at that again because it's not cute. But I was a little, okay, I was a lot crabby because also my husband and I were goofing off. My, <laughs> my mama Jane was over here because she lives right next door above the garage in her own apartment. So she was over here. My husband and I were goofing off and it was, it was totally by accident, but he went to lift me up and I was flailing and his hand like somehow jammed my rib cage. And so I think I bruised a rib. <laughs> I don't know, cause I've never done that before. Of course he feels awful. And my mom didn't know what was even going on because I was on the floor going, Ugh. So now I have an injured knee and I have an injured rib or something. So I'm basically falling apart. So I was a little crabby about it this weekend and I felt awful cause it was, it was really a nice weekend. I mean, most of it was a nice weekend, except when mommy was being crabby. 
and I tell you that because I always love to talk about how I am perfectly imperfect as we all are and so sometimes my children and my husband see crabby apple mommy and that's what they got because that doesn't scream Easter fun like having a crabby mom yeah anyway uh, but it's a new day <laughs> I am no longer crabby uh, thank you. I think my family's probably very happy about that as well. So all of that to say, I hope you had a good Easter, a good Passover, a long weekend if you were able to have a long weekend. And thank you for taking time to be here today. All right, let's get started by saying congratulations to Tressy L from Pennsylvania, which is where my mama Jane and most of my family is from. Uh, Tressy L from Pennsylvania won the $100 gift certificate to Mad Tree Woodcrafts, who we had on the show last week. If you missed that show, definitely go back and watch and watch it. You can watch it on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube because it was such a great show and they have such beautiful handcrafted wood products that are gorgeous. So congratulations to Tressy. We have another fun giveaway at the end of the show. So let's get started with topic number one. What in the crock? <laughs> what in the crock is happening? So, my teenage daughter has been homeschooled for the last year. My youngest daughter was homeschooled for the first half and now she's back in person learning. So the teenager is going to a new school in August. So we went to tour the school and we loved it. I mean, really like extra loved it. Everyone was so nice. We met a bunch of the teachers. It was so nice. So because my daughter does not have to wear a uniform anymore, I said, hey, really pay attention to see what the kids are wearing to kind of get an idea because she hangs around with her friends and I love it. She's kind of developed her own style, which is so fun. But I started looking around and I saw all of these teenagers, because it's ninth through 12, so high school, all of these teenagers wearing Crocs. And I was pleasantly surprised. Some of them were wearing Crocs with socks <laughs> that rhymes, Crocs with socks, and some were just wearing plain old Crocs. Now, I did on Instagram see a friend of mine, Serena, who has a really cute Instagram account called Living by Disney. She moved from somewhere to live near Disney, and she was talking about Croc sandals. And so I looked them up, and I'm like, well, those look cute. And I know everyone, not everyone, but many people in the first responders world, doctors and nurses, so many people wear Crocs because they're so comfortable. But I looked and apparently they're stepping up their Croc game with these new Croc sandals and whatnot. But I couldn't believe how many high schools, high schoolers were wearing Crocs. And it's funny because my teenager who is 15, she wore them like when they were little baby Crocs and I thought they were the cutest thing. She wore them when she was about two or three years old and they had the cutest little styles and I love them. And then you would put the uh, gibbets, I think they're called, to decorate the Crocs. Well, it's back, it's back. I am here to tell you that uh, if you thought Crocs went away, they are back. And here's the funny thing. So then after we have that tour, she says to me, the teenager, hey mom, um, is it okay if I meet up with my girlfriends? We're gonna go to Walmart and we're all gonna get matching Crocs. That's my girl. You know I love me some Target and Walmart. Oh, so I had to go to Walmart to pick up something. So I dropped her off and then I got the littlest one, a pair of Crocs for her Easter basket. I got each of the girls, I call them Easter shoes because they were both white. I know that no one really, I don't know, do people do the white shoes anymore? I did. So I got a cute pair of sandals for my teenager from Walmart. Cute, cute sandals, white. And then a cute pair of white Crocs for my youngest. And they have like a little rainbow edging on them and they're white. So cute. So I need to know, comment below, have you been a faithful Croc wearer this whole time? Or are you as surprised as I am that Crocs are like full circle again? Which is kind of fun because they're so comfortable. And I know some people, you know, you're either, yeah, Crocs, or you're like, not so much Crocs. That's what I wanna know. Comment below and let me know, are you like, yeah, Crocs, or eh, not so much. Okay, the next thing I wanted to talk to you about, after I take a sip of the biggest cup of coffee ever. Oh, it's so good. Okay, I can drink, drink this whole thing right now. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about, 
little scratch on my nose or itch. <laughs> Tell me one thing that you've never done before that you think everyone else has. I could not wait to ask you this question because I was talking to one of my best friends, Taylor, who lives in Atlanta. She's on the radio station there, 104.7 The Fish. She's pretty awesome. She planted flowers the other day for the first time ever, like in her adult life. She has never, ever planted flowers before. And that was very like mind blowing to me because look, don't get it twisted. I am not like a gardener, green thumb lady girl because I plant flowers in like some planters out in front or in the backyard. I've planted a couple of in ground, but that's just not my thing because I kill everything normally, but I have planted flowers before. So when she told me she has never planted flowers, I couldn't believe that. And then I started thinking, I know that there are so many things that I've never done that everyone else has, but I wanted to ask you, tell me one thing you've never done that you're like, yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone else has done that. Cause I'm just dying to know. I found that so fascinating that she has never planted flowers before. Anyway. All right. And then topic number three, we we're talking about Easter um, at the beginning of the show. And I wanted to know how you feel about peeps. Beep, beeps. Now these are Fruit Loop, Fruit Loops, Fruit Loops peeps. And you either love peeps or you're like, no, disgusting. I, I don't crave a peep for Easter, but like I'll have a bite of one and I'm good. My a teenager though, she loves peeps. She has loved peeps since as long as I ever let her have a peep. And normally she only gets peeps at Easter. But I saw these and they were Fruit Loop peeps. Fruit Loops, Fruit Loops peeps. <laughs> Why is that so hard to say? Fruit Loops peeps. And I put one of these little one, two, three, four packs in each of their Easter baskets. But first of all, I thought that it was so cute with all the little colors. But I wanted to know how you feel about peeps. Like I said, you either love them or you're like, so yeah, I don't love them. I guess maybe I am a middle of the road person. They're not my favorite, but like I'm good for a bite, but I'm not like, Ugh, but they're not my favorite. So I was just curious because they are such a big seller at Easter. It's kind of funny. Anyway, so really I told you this show isn't about nothing important. <laughs> We're talking about peeps. <laughs> So I would love to know what your thoughts are on peeps because yeah, you either love them or you do not like them at all. Before we get out of here, I got the cutest bag to give you and I could not wait to show you. Of course, I got a little Disney bag for you. How adorable is this bag? All right, so this is a crossbody bag. As you can see, it's a decent size. It's not a smaller, let's say it's a mid-size, if that's a thing, a medium or mid-size crossbody. But here's the thing. Um, you know how when you have a dress that has pockets? It has pockets and you get so excited. I do love a bag that has an ample amount of pockets. So this one has a pocket. Oh, and it is a Walt Disney World crossbody bag. So if you are in Disneyland, you're like, you know, Disneyland area, and that's your, your home base, this might be kind of fun for you. If Walt Disney World is your home base, this might be extra fun for you. But look at, so it has a pocket here, lots of room in that big front pocket. I do love a front pocket because I like to put my cell phone and my keys there. Then it has two pockets, one pocket here, and then another pocket separate right next to it. But that's not all. Inside, inside, there's another little pocket. So you have the outside pocket, two pockets in here. Man, why don't I keep this? And then a back pocket. What? I mean, and the strap is adjustable. So you can wear it like a regular purse or wear it as a crossbody. Can we? I'm going to hold this up. Can we talk about how cute that pattern is? It's all of the red and yellow and green and blue and purple and pink. Mickey 
everywhere. Oh my goodness. And then it's got like a little Mickey and a tag of the zipper, which is so cute on each of the zipper holders. It has the little, I call them like hidden Mickeys. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see, can you see that? Can you see it? Anyway, the adjustable strap and how, how cute is this? I love this. So would you like this crossbody bag? This is a $30 bag, but it's yours for the low, low price of winning. <laughs> All right, so if this is your first time and you've never ever been a part of a giveaway on Coffee Combo Wednesday, we do them every single week. Like I said, it's always three topics and then a giveaway. So all you have to do is comment. What are we commenting today? Comment WDW for Walt Disney World. That's pretty easy. Comment WDW for Walt Disney World and the name of the state where you're watching Coffee Combo Wednesday. So WDW and the name of the state where you're watching Coffee Combo Wednesday. And you can get up to three entries. If you're watching this on Facebook, make sure to head to Instagram and YouTube. Do the same over there. And same, if you're watching on Instagram, head to Facebook and YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, head to Facebook and Instagram. As always, if your name on Instagram is Cindy Simmons, but on YouTube it's Minnie Mouse, let me know what your name is because then I have no way of knowing that you got a bonus entry. It's just gonna be like, well, Minnie Mouse entered, and then, you know, Cindy Simmons entered, and then on Facebook it's Ann Simmons, that's my middle name. <laughs> I don't know, let me know on all three places what your entry name is so that I can keep track. And then, so you get three chances to win this super cute bag. We'll announce the winner on next week's show and we'll put it in the comments of this week's show. So WDW, Walt Disney World, and the name of the state where you're watching Coffee Combo Wednesday. And then you get a chance to win this super cute $30 Walt Disney World Mickey's bag. It's so stinking cute, I can't stand it. Thank you so much for being here today. If you would, head over to cindysimmons.com and follow me on all of the socials. Also, if you have not had a chance, especially if you're watching on Instagram or you have Instagram, if you would do me a huge solid and go follow Shushu Baby Boutique, that would mean so much to me. I'm the one checking there and I'm gonna see all the names and I would love to see your name there that you have followed and uh, you know, following on Instagram there. That would be really cool. That means so much to me if you would go do that. Plus there's just cute clothes all the time there. And that's not a pressure like you have to go buy something, but man, if you could just follow Shushu Baby on Facebook and Instagram, I would appreciate that. That would mean so much. Thank you for that. I'll give you a little cheers for that. Thank you for being here and I will see you next week. Have a good rest of your week. Happy April. Did you have a good April Fools? I meant to ask you about that because I shared a really fun video of both of my daughters on a prank we did years ago. So if you're on Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok, you probably saw it there, but it's so fun. But have a great rest of your week. Thank you so much for being here. Good luck on the Walt Disney World Mickey crossbody bag giveaway. And I will see you next week. Love you. Spread joy and kindness like Nutella. Cheers. Bye.